Hello and welcome to the Oversight Global's The Energy of Gratitude series, where all month long we are deep diving into the practice of gratitude, a super quick, super easy, yet highly beneficial tool that you can use for positivity and success. My name is Anjali Kapoor. I'll be your series host. I'm also a consciousness advocate and empowerment extraordinaire, as well as the founder of Oversight Global. Oversight Global is an organization that addresses the consciousness crisis in the world by advocating for awareness and consciousness. We strive to educate and empower individuals and businesses to be aware of and strive to fulfill their fullest potential and uniquely contribute to the world. Today, I am happy to welcome our guest, Andreas Iwandu. Andreas is the author of the digital marketing book, Entrepreneur Makeover, and the founder of the online community, The Entrepreneur Makeover. Andreas has been a technical enthusiast from a very young age with special interest in digital marketing, affiliate marketing, e-commerce platforms, and all kinds of startups as well. Andrea specializes in using creative growth hacking strategies in order to succeed in any given goal. Andreas's personal interests are photography, exercise, and traveling, and he has visited many countries and continues to grow that list of countries visited as the years progress. So Andreas, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here today. How are you? Uh, I'm very good. Um, thank you for inviting me to your um, program and uh, I'm very happy to be here. Sounds great. So let's go ahead and dive in. So what, um, so what does gratitude mean to you? Um, gratitude is uh, very important because I believe it is more important to give to people than to, uh, than to take from people. And um, so I, I believe it's very important because it's, um, I, I mean, if you take and uh, you are not, um, if people give you something and you are not um, really appreciated, it, it's, uh, um, you are not able to give back also, and uh, also it's going to, it's very, you cannot live a positive life because you will you live like a more ecogendry of life, but uh, you care more about yourself and uh, you are not um, going to have to give nothing to back to people. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, definitely. So talk more, tell me more about um, living a positive life through gratitude. So how does, in your opinion, how does um, gratitude uh, give you more positivity? Um, gratitude gives you more positivity in, in a way that, um, uh, I mean, to, to live a positive life is to share it, to share something with people. I mean, if um, you just care for yourself, it's very lonely and um, uh, unsatisfied life. It's very, um, it's, it's very stressful life also because you can just care about yourself. And um, gratitude also, I want to mention that it was very important for the ancient Greeks. In ancient Greece, so it was very important. Uh, um, one of the most important uh, things that someone to have in the in the other personality and for ungrateful people it was something uh, in the battle so and um, yeah positive life I mean if you are great from what you take um, you can give also something back I mean so it is very negative if you just care about yourself so it's very important. Yeah, I mean, def definitely gratitude. It it, uh, it it raises your energy level so that you're more positive. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. For sure. For sure. So go ahead and tell me about um, how you found gratitude affects you in your life. How has it worked in your life? Um, it's affected me in, in a way that... Um, um, I mean, maybe this uh, small um, action of kindness to you that you from people, like uh, from time to time, uh, if you try to keep you happy and you try to give something back. So um, these things also give you happiness because 
Um, I mean, you can just say okay and just move on in your life without to give any time back or um, you don't, don't give any time to think um, what you can do to satisfy also other people or to help them. And um, this, is, this is bad. I mean, yeah, if you give you a lot of happiness in a way, you give him back. I mean, and this small. Um, I feel kindness uh, when you give them back to so, um, that is satisfying for you, it gives you even more happiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think gratitude um, is funny in a way where it not only makes the person who is being, um, you know, who is sharing or helping somebody else, it makes them happy, but it also makes the person who's receiving happy. So the giver and the receiver are both happy. So it's, it's, it's a great um practice to where you know all parties involved are, are happy and have positivity yeah and uh, i'm also grateful to uh, many people that help me like um, um I'm, I'm grateful also to god i'm a person i'm a religious person i'm also grateful to god um, because uh, i believe he god helped me in very tough situations in my life and um I'm very grateful for my health and for many other things like um, um, that uh, make me a better person. Uh, I believe I have a strong God and strong people. Um. Yeah, definitely. It, it, it's great to you know have so many things to be grateful for and to really pay attention and to look at that and not always um, you know kind of look at the negative or bad things in life, right? Yeah, the, the glass can be half full or half empty. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's better to, to, to view the world as, as glass half full <laughs> rather than empty. Yeah, or three quarters of uh, full of water. <laughs> Definitely. And then, so how do you feel gratitude should be regarded in the world today, especially, you know, with the pandemic that we've just gone through the last couple of years? You know, how um, how can gratitude, you know, really be effective in the world, especially right now? Um, I think people, they have to be grateful that um, they are still alive. Um, the, the people they survive after that, and that people, they lost their life for too many reasons to the pandemic, like uh, the economic or economic so. But um, people they have to be gratitude because they are still alive, they can work. Um, internet is, is free, there are many ways that you can make money online, uh, even if it's difficult. Um, and they can use it also through the pandemic. And uh, they can, even if they lose their business or something bad happened, they can start away from the beginning. Right, right. I know that um, I've heard from many people, you know, from the pandemic that they, it was really um, a time where they were able to reflect and really prioritize, like see their real priorities in life. Whereas, you know, before the pandemic, um, people were, you know, too focused on their careers or and not uh, really focused on the priorities like their families or their health. Yeah, I think the pandemic it is uh, it helped everyone to reconsider some of my choices in life. Um, me too, also. Um, I, I was a wedding photographer before the pandemic and I did my job after the um, start of the pandemic 2020. Uh, of my wedding for the longest in 2019. Um, I think it, it makes many people they consider some choices in life and also to it um, yeah it's helped them to change the, the way they they are living in their life, their personal life, business and everything. I don't understand the, the mistake. I mean the, the pandemic is show the the mistakes everyone uh, makes mm -hmm. in their business and life. Life. Definitely. So what do you think, um, how do you think people can move forward using gratitude from something like the pandemic that we've just gone through? Um, I mean, people, they can use gratitude in many ways, I say, about health, about uh, 
the ability to think so they can create a new business online and uh, the ability that there is a lot of free knowledge so they can do something new even a, a, a physical business or a normal business uh, or an online business like uh, the knowledge is available for free online. Um, the company gratitude is one simple exercise that I was uh, watching in, it was in one TV show. I, I don't use it because I don't need it. I'm already gratitude about my... I don't need to use it, but uh, just for uh, maybe some people that want to use it, it's just... Uh, it was... Um, I mean, it's, it's saying on the exercise when you wake up in the morning, you just uh, see your... Uh, uh, I mean, you, you just um, see your body, you touch your body, and you say like, my legs are uh, moving fast, as I'm moving my mm -hmm. and you just uh, understand that uh, you are healthy, and you just, uh, for, for people, they have problems, so, so they make them understand, so they are, that they are healthy, so, uh, and health is one of the most important uh, uh, aspects in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I definitely, definitely, I understand what you're saying. So go ahead and tell us a little bit more about yourself and your business and what you do. Um, I have an online business. Um, I, it's based on my digital marketing book. Uh, my book name is Entrepreneur Makeover. I published it on Amazon and on, on March um, this year, um, March 2022. And I have an online business that um, is teaching people how to they can make money online with affiliate marketing and many other ways. Also, um, I'm sharing uh, digital marketing um, strategies on how you can promote your website to um, grow up your social media and many other things that they can find information online uh, for free. So many other free tools that they can use to grow up their business and promote their business. Uh, it's a big project. It's have uh, many things. It's a lot of things to understand. But uh, it's um, and also I have another website. They can find the link on, on my third uh, website at theplanetmakeover.com. And also my second website uh, is freeseotoolsem.com. It's 53 SEO tools that like, anyone can use to, um, to, to help them to um, optimize their website for SEO and anyone can use it for free. And I'm, this way I'm giving something to people. Um, and I'm promoting also my own work, uh, my own digital product and my affiliate uh, product. Okay, that's awesome. So it sounds like you have two websites that people can connect with you on. Um, are you anywhere else, like on Facebook, Instagram? How else can people connect or follow you? I have many. I'm almost everywhere, but I just say the most important. Uh, I'm, um, I have a Facebook group that now is about it's on. Uh, it has 3,000 members. They call it Entrepreneur Makeover, and this is a group I also give it, everyone uh, can promote their uh, business inside my group under the comment of for the. Um, of the post and uh, it's from is I have post I, I am um, each Monday and Thursday you can find some post they mention promote your business or anything you want in the comment section and everyone can promote their business on the comment or anything they want related to business. Um, okay. so that's my group and I have emotional media but they can find everything on my website if I want to would be confusing after. Oh, okay, sounds good. So we'll go ahead and include the links in the video description of your website and also your Facebook group so people can connect and follow you. So last question. So um, what final thoughts or key takeaways do you have for people who are watching this episode today? Um, my final thoughts is to be more positive. Um, uh, to never give up and to work hard for uh, to put goals in their life and to work hard to succeed them maybe for their personal life and also for their business. Okay, 
And that's great. Yes, definitely. I agree with you there. Well, thank you again, Andrea, so much for being here and for the great discussion and your knowledge and insight. I really appreciate you sharing that with us. And thank you, audience, for being here and for watching. So be sure to check out our other episodes of the Energy of Gratitude series. If you're getting as much out of it as I am, be sure to let your friends, family, and others know. And be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already to get notified of future episodes and videos on our channel. Again, thanks again, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.